let's have a look at uh, how you can download files from your flipper to your computer to do changes and manipulating them and update them back to the flipper for executing whatever you would like to do so let's look at a short and sweet example in the nfc uh, structure so as you can see in the nfc uh, part of my flipper i have some files stored already um, this rickroll file is a file that comes with my firmware. I use the Rogue Master for the moment. And this file is uh, just a simple script. You can emulate it like this and then tap it back to your phone, just like this. And that will actually open a URL. This is going to YouTube. And as we can see here, we can see Rick Astley playing his famous song. Now, that might be not very interesting, but the principle is quite interesting. So if you go back to the files of your flipper, actually, if you connect it to your computer, you can use the file manager, just like we can see here. So if you go into SD card and here you will have all the folders and here is the NFC folder. Opening this, it will show all the files, and here is exactly the Rickroll NFC file that we just tested. If you right click that file, you can download it to your computer. Now let's open the Rickroll NFC file, and I will just use Notepad for simplicity. This is the content of the Rickroll NFC file. It's not very easy to understand what is going on here. I I was hoping that these data were kind of in uh, hex format and I can just uh, convert them over to ASCII for better understanding. It's not that easy. I did found a Python script that will do this conversion. I'll try to, to figure out how that works a bit later. But uh, the thing is, even if I don't understand the content here, I did find a very interesting uh, web page also on GitHub called Flipper Maker. Let's have a look at that. Here is the Flipper Maker. And uh, it seems that like this will be updated with kind of many features in the future. They have a NFC creator tool, which is quite neat. Uh, let's look at that. Here you can give it a name, uh, end tag type, which is uh, three different types supported. That's just for the, the size of the content, the data amount you will have in here. And you will have a URL. So this will I think do exactly the same as the Rickroll. You can give it a name and a URL and it will open. So let's test that. Let's just uh, write NASA here and I think it will be okay with the smallest size. And we can just here go into the nasa.gov and we can generate the file and download the file to my computer just like this. And then let's open this file into the notepad. This is the NASA file, and as we can see, it's kind of the same format that I don't really understand yet. But let's uh, let's put this file back to the flipper. So here we have the NASA NFC file, and now it's very easy to just drag and drop. So I'll just select this file, and I will drop it over my flipper queue uh, monitor. And here we can see the nasa.nfc file. This is quite interesting. Let's go back to the content of my flipper, just like this, going back here. And yeah, here we can see at the top, we got the NASA file immediately. So just to show how it, uh, how it works, let's open it and emulate. And now hopefully, if I tap this on the backside of my phone, it will open the nasa.gov web page on my phone. So this is just a very small, small example showing that you can download the files, you can edit them, you can change them, you can upload it back uh, to the Flipper and execute them here. So this was a short demo for that and I think we'll go come back with a part two where I understand the file format hopefully and we can try to manipulate it directly and send it back.